It's a pleasure to be with all of you this morning as we remember with love and affection those who have gone before us. We gather here in prayer on this All Souls Day, asking that the Lord embrace our loved ones and that they, we continue to pray for them as they continue to pray for us. There's an old Mexican saying that a person dies three deaths. The first time at the moment of death, the second time when the body is interred, and the third time when there's nobody left to remember them. Today, we remember these people that have gone before us. We hold them close to our hearts. We ask God to welcome them and to embrace them and to support and strengthen us for the journey of life and faith. What we do today is a spiritual work of mercy to pray for the dead, especially our loved ones. We come in faith, confident that the Lord will hear our prayers and welcomed our loved ones to himself. Those who have lived a good and holy life, keeping the great commandment of love of God and love of neighbor. They've lived by our standards to be faithful people. And those who have lived a life far from God and his commandments deserve our prayers also. We pray for all the departed, entrusting them to God's mercy. Each Sunday at Mass, when we say the Creed, we express our belief in the communion of the saints. We're never alone on this journey. We believe of all the communion of all the faithful in Christ, those who are pilgrims on earth, the dead who are being purified, and the blessed in heaven. Together, we are one church. Today, it's a good time to recall that we are members of a community that transcends time and space. We support each other. The blessed in heaven intercede for us, we pray for the faithful departed, and when they reach heaven, they too will intercede for us. All Souls Day reminds us of our own mortality. Death will come to all of us. It's the door through which we will pass to enter eternal life, where God has promised us that eye has not seen nor ear heard what God has prepared for those who love him. Faith helps us. It will help us in our final death, but it also supports us in the partial dyings that are ours during our pilgrimage on earth. Fear, pain, sickness, fa failing physical strength, every parting and the last look at a place we love we'll never see again. Suffering, however it comes to us, must not rob us of joy. Always by faith, we see the resurrection at the end. If we have died with Christ, we shall also live with him. And in this faith and hope today, we pray for our loved ones, asking God to embrace them and be with us. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them.